Hi everybody, Ken from Brooks Burdan. And before we get going on our Mark Levinson video that we're doing today, I just want to ask you, please go down, hit the like, click on the subscribe, and ring that little bell so you get a notification next time we do a video. Today's video is all about Mark Levinson, an amazing brand, audiophile history, going right back to the man who founded the company, Mark Levinson. The company is now part of Harman International and it's a good thing because they have plenty of money to do exceptionally great design and research and keep this brand going like it deserves. And as you might know also, Mark Levinson is the premium brand that's offered in Lexus. This is their home stuff. We are a big dealer for Mark Levinson here at Brooks Burdan Limited. We're going to start by talking about the 519 player. This digital device is like a Swiss Army knife of digital audio. Not only it is a DAC, it's a CD player, it's a network player, has multiple digital inputs, can work as its own digital preamp because it has a volume control, has a headphone output right here. It's got an exceptionally great headphone section as a uh, would be deserving of the Mark Levinson uh, heritage. So I'm holding the iPad because here you can see I'm listening to Taki Taki, great new song, and it's also displaying right here. So we can do network playing from either their own app or also from Rune. It's a Rune compatible device and it's MQA compatible as well. So really good digital control. We can get our uh, our own files, our network, uh, our library. We can do a library on a, on a um, hard drive that we plug in through USB to the back of this. We can do on a NAS drive, our network attached storage, plug in a hard drive there. So it'll, it'll bring music from all over our network into one place and stream it out here. This uses a 32-bit low jitter DAC made by ESS. That's the chip that's at the heart of this device and it's implemented very nicely. It also has Bluetooth, uh, multiple streaming services like Tidal and Cobuzz that's coming to the US this year. A lot of good stuff in here. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. If I did, put it down here in the comments so we can catch up on it. Okay, next is our Mark Levinson preamplifier. This is the number 526. The number five, there's also a number 523 that does not have a DAC. This has everything the 523 has, plus it has a DAC. The, uh, it uses a um, Pure Path Class A Phono Preamplifier stage for both moving magnet and moving coil. And in that Phono Preamplifier stage, right here from the front, it allows you to do on-the-fly um, loading. We can uh, adjust our loading for capacitance and resistance in the moving coil and moving magnet stage. We can adjust the gain anywhere from 50 to 70 dB of gain can be dialed in here, which is amazing. Actually, it goes below 50. I'm going to say 45, 48. Um, it has an 80 hertz output if you want to do a separate subwoofer, so it integrates the subwoofer beautifully. And it uses a unique, I want you guys to Google this, folded cast code. That's the type of circuitry that it uses. It also uses what they call a pure path design and their mirror images. So a lot of people that make a, uh, what do I want to say, I want to say a, a mono preamp. So it's got two separate preamp sections, one on the left side, one of the right side. They're not just exact copies of each other, they're mirror images of each other. Uh, direct coupled, fully balanced, uh, dual mono signal path mirror image, folded cast code. So, military grade components, these components would easily meet the, um, uh, such as medical grade, and the factory that makes these is also doing medical equipment. So this is top-notch stuff. Um, it doesn't just have a sheet metal cover on top. That you don't look at this and see screws on the top and the sides. This is extremely well made. Very heavy casework. So let's also talk about the 515. That's this beautiful turntable right here. Let's lift the cover off. Take a look. Move. I always keep the stylus cleaning fluid and a record brush handy for when we're using this. This, this uh, turntable can be ordered with or without a cartridge. If you order it with a cartridge, it's going to come with the Ortofon Cadenza 2M Bronze. This is a moving coil cartridge. 
beautiful cartridge, makes a wonderful setup. We have adjustable on-the-fly VTA. This is the uh, vertical tracking angle, sometimes referred to as the stylus rake angle. This is a 3D printed tone arm. Uh, at the base is a, gim it's a gimbal mount here. Over here, this sits separately. The motor is in a separate physical uh, chassis from the turntable. And the turntable is a, is a multiple layer turntable, composite and aluminum. So this works to dampen resonances and it's heavy. We have uh, anti-vibration feet. Um, this is uh, machined Delron along with machined aluminum with vibration. It has a vibration dampening polycore. Um, push button here for 33 and 45 and three belts. Keeps wow and flutter very low. Um, this is a solid aluminum platter machined to very tight tolerances and an inverted bearing. Beautiful equipment. Now let's talk about the 585 and the 580.5 integrated amplifier. Okay, we're coming over here to the Mark Levinson integrated amplifier. This is a really great piece because you have the same build quality as the power amps, the preamps, all the other equipment that we just talked about. When you look at the top of this, you don't see screws. This is thick pieces of aluminum that are machined. This is not any stamped steel screwed on to the top. This is extremely well made, just like all the other pieces. But because everything's all in one chassis, it is a little bit more economy of scale. This one is 200 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 400 watts per channel into 4 ohms, and stable down to 2 ohms. Amazing piece of electronic design that's able to do that. The exact same Class A Phono preamp that's in the 523 and 526 preamp, as well as the same DAC that's in the 526 preamp. It goes all the way up to double DSD, has the ESS chip that's a low jitter, low jitter chip. Like the 526, it offers adjustable filters and is really a very nice sounding uh, DAC. The 585 is everything this is, except it doesn't have the DAC built in. What's interesting about this is it has one huge toroidal transformer, but separate power supplies for both the left and the right channel. And it does that by having secondary windings for separate secondary windings for both channels. So beautiful design, extremely well built, but we save on economy of scale because everything's here in one chassis. Let's go over and take a look at the power amps now. I'm holding the Mark Levinson remote controls. This is the remote for the 519. This is the remote for the 526. And what's nice is they're, they're nicely shaped for your hand. The buttons are easy to reach with my thumbs, as clumsy as they are. But these are made out of a nice, solid piece of aluminum. This isn't plastic. It's been, some, you know, remote control that's made to work with five or six other models, many other brands. So let me get those out of my hand. And shout out to the Revel Performa. These are the Beryllium series. Awesome with these amplifiers. We're looking at the number 536, mono, so separate amplifiers for the right and left. And these amplifiers are 400 watts into 8 ohms, 800 watts into 4 ohms, stable down to 2 ohms. If your outlet has the juice, they'll go up to 1600 watts into 2 ohms. That's a lot of power. Oh, oh, oh I can't even say it right. They use a signal path that they call pure path discrete. It's direct coupled, fully balanced, fully differential, and stays in class A longer. What that gives us is a beautiful smooth sound. It gives us very resolute bass. It can grip and hold woofers so that they are very well controlled. It's stable down to about 10 cycles. Very low bass, very well controlled, yet wonderful on all of the rest of the audio spectrum. You get those fluid, liquid mid-range. You get crystal clear highs that are never harsh or piercing. The Mark Levinson uh, design is a very low feedback, high current circuits. They do this by doing more expensive, higher grade circuits. 
There's also a number 534. The chassis is the same, the look is the same, the 534 is a stereo version. It's 250 watts a channel, 500 watts. In the 534, the toroidal transformer has separate secondary windings for each channel. In the 536, those separate uh, windings feed different sections of the amplifier. What this all means is lots of current on demand. You know, if you're walking down the sidewalk, you walk past a club, you, you hear the music inside the club, you know right away if that's recorded music or live music. One of the ways we instantly sense that is the way the volume instantly flows up and down. If there's a lot of dynamic impact from that volume, it sounds like live music. That's why having an amplifier that can do 1600 watts on demand like that makes a big difference to helping our music sound like the way it was recorded in the studio. So that's been our Mark Levinson video. I hope that you've hit the like and subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell so you get notified when we do more videos. We're always trying to do interesting and new videos, so if you have something you'd like to hear, or if you have some questions about this video, put them down there in the comments. Call us or email us here at the store. Come visit our showroom. We love you guys. Thanks for watching.